Hey everyone, Michelle here with Plant-Based Kidney Health and I am with Dr. Sean Hashmi. And this question that um, I'm gonna ask you for today, I know you've addressed actually in I think a couple of our other episodes, but I want one um, you know, short episode where people can go to to just listen to it. So how does alcohol affect the kidneys? All right, so this is a really interesting topic. And as you know, when we look at the research, there have been some really mixed studies and it's created some confusion around it. So some of the studies showed that actually alcohol was good for the kidneys. In other words, people who were drinking alcohol, their kidney functions were better. Then there were studies that showed that people who were drinking alcohol, their kidneys were worse. And the question is, is well, which one of the studies were true? So let's talk about some of the latest studies and hopefully they can answer a question once and for all that what's up with all this confusion and then we'll give you kind of a idea on what the take home message is. So in 2021, there's a study published in Nature. This is from Lee and colleagues, 12 year study looking at about 5,700 patients going on, average age about 51, half of them were males going on. And what they showed was that compared to non-drinkers, people who don't drink at all, the people who are drinking the highest amounts, they actually had a less drop in their decline in GFR. So in other words, if you did not drink, your GFR went down, but if you drank alcohol, your GFR did not go down as fast. So alcohol seems protective. Now this is a long-term study, 12 years. So this creates confusion because this makes us think that maybe there is a protective benefit. And as you know, even on our podcast, we've talked about the fact that alcohol can directly damage nephrons, not just to the liver and liver to kidney, but it can directly do it. So what gives? Let's look at another study. Now, this one is from 2022, just this year. And this is from Lai and colleagues, Nutrition, Metabolism, Cardiovascular Disease. Another study that's looking at 12 years. This was looking at 4,600 participants going on. And here's what they found they were able to show that the reason for all this controversy is it's really what we call a J-shaped or a U-shaped curve. So what that means is, is that as you start to go into the sort of um, higher amounts of alcohol going on, there is a point where you start to have diminishing returns going on in terms of the benefit. So when the CKD was increased is when you saw that the alcohol consumption was increased to 18 standard drinks per week in this study. So the lowest amount was really what they found was really in the moderate drinkers, but as they started to go much higher on the alcohol, the outcomes were worse. So if you're listening to this, now you must be totally confused and saying, well, should I be drinking? Should I not be drinking? What's the take home? Here's the bottom line. It's not just about kidneys, it's about your liver, and more importantly, it's about your brain. Some of the most elegant studies have come out more recently and have shown there is absolutely no safe drinking amount. Let me repeat that. There's absolutely no safe drinking amount. So if you're worried about brain health, liver health, heart health, all of those things going on, there really is. And now if you enjoy a glass of wine once or twice a week, that's fine. But this idea that Americans have of drinking a couple of glasses every day, that is not okay. And if you haven't started drinking, please don't start drinking thinking that it might protect your kidneys. That is the worst idea ever. So when studies like this come out and there's confusion around it, you can always turn to us to help you clear that up because our job is not just to look at one study, but to look at all the studies and to be able to then come up with what makes sense. And so this concept of a U-shaped or J-shaped curve really helps us to understand that some of these studies are looking at those extremes and finding that they may be helpful or harmful and coming up with the answer. So if you drink alcohol, once again, minimize it. If you haven't started, please don't start. As always, thanks so much for checking us out. And if you got a question, drop us a line. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks.